Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make the perfect purple buttercream. So, why purple out of all the colours, I hear you ask? So firstly, I've actually got a few messages from you who actually really struggle with getting a nice purple colour. And it's true. For some reason, purple buttercream always tends to look a little bit on the grey side. So I've got a few tricks up my sleeve to show you how to make this purple colour more vibrant and also different shades of purple depending on what you want to achieve. So for this video, enough of me talking, let's get close up and colour some buttercream. So I'm going to be using some Swiss meringue buttercream. This is the buttercream that I usually use, but this method works the same on any buttercream you're using, it just depends on the quantities. So I know that Swiss meringue buttercream, you only need a small amount at a time. I'm gonna start off with some blue and some red food coloring, because after all, blue and red make purple. So I'm going to do equal amounts of the color and start mixing that in. And the beauty about using food colorings is that you can mix them together to create your own shades. Now in this bowl, I want to create a more lavender color. Now depending on where you're based, determines what colours you have access to. So go on your instinct and play around with what you get. So this was adding the same amount of blue and red. But for me, firstly, it's still on quite the pastel side. I want to make it a little bit darker and it's also a little bit on the pink side. So now I'm going to go in with slightly more blue, but still add some red, but just not as much. Mix that together. And the blue is what brings out that more lavendery colour. So this is a good example of you have achieved the right shade of purple, but it is looking a little bit on the grey side. Now when it looks grey, you want to add a touch of pink. And by adding some pink, just a small amount, it just takes that greyish shade away. So it's the pink which brings out that vibrancy of the purple. Now it's still pastel, it's still lavender, but it's not got that gray undertone. It's definitely more on the pastel purple side. So that's my pastel purple. Now let's go on to something a little bit more vibrant. So again, I'm starting off with some white buttercream and note that I'm using about half the amount that I did in this one, which means this is automatically going to go a lot stronger. Now I want this color purple a lot stronger than this one. So I'm gonna go in with this color, which is called ice blue, which is a strong blue and a neon pink. And this has that extra vibrancy that I'm looking for. A couple of drops of blue and a couple of drops of pink. And let's see how all this goes. Well, already you can tell how much more vibrant that's gonna be. And once again, I personally feel that when I use purple straight from a bottle, it never gets to this color straight away. So I just prefer using what I have already and making the color myself. So you can already see this contrast between the light lilac color and the stronger purple. So I've got the pastel purple, I've got a vibrant purple, and now I'm going for a darker purple. And for this, I'm going to be mixing the colors a lot more. So starting off with a royal blue, that's got the darker undertone, but I still want the other vibrancy. So I'm actually going in with a drop of turquoise and then some fuchsia, which is pink, and mix that through. And again, it is a smaller amount of buttercream, which means it's gonna get a lot darker quicker. So we're definitely on the darker colors here, but that's more because it's got a lot more blue in. But I just want to pick out that purpley color to take away the grayness. So think of it as the grayness comes from the blue. So I'll add another drop of fuchsia. And of course, you can keep playing around by adding a little bit more reds and pinks and even more blues until you achieve the shade that you want. So you can see that these two colors are on the softer shades and then this one is still the most vibrant, but now I'm gonna take that up a notch and make the most vibrant color purple yet. So when you're thinking vibrant, you need the vibrant colors such as turquoise, a couple of drops, and the neon pink. And let's start mixing. So that's a good start, but I want it darker, so I'm gonna go in with the same colors to make it stronger. So 
So this one's looking a little bit similar to this. So I'm going to be adding much more of the pink tones to this to make it more of a magenta. So now you've got this beautiful, rich purple with the more pinkish tones. So as you can see, just by mixing a variation of different pinks, blues, turquoise and reds, you can achieve all sorts of shades of purple. So that was just a quick tutorial explaining the best ways to get different purple shades. Now just a couple of things before I sign off. You need to bear in mind where the purple's going to be going. So for example, if I were to put the stronger one against the slightly more pastel ones, it looks great. But if I were to put this against something like the darker lavender, the lavender starts to look a bit gray. So depending on the other colors they're going on can affect the way that they look. So to be honest, it's a lot easier just going on with a shade of purple onto a white cake because the direct contrast will bring out the purpleness, but it is something to bear in mind. So give it a go and play around with the colors that you have because that's what it is at the end of the day. Firstly, knowing your local ingredients, but also having fun and really playing with it. So let me know how you get on and stay tuned for even more cake decorating tutorials.